Hi guys, you welcome back to my channel. My name is Indefon Tui. On this channel, I make swing tutorials. I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So please make sure to back on those days in order to watch new content. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. If you are a beginner or if you are first not push up on your skill, I offer online courses. Um, I'll be showing a demo how to drag, how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and decide if it will be convenient for you to learn online. If you are interested, send a telegram message to number that you can see on the screen. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Continue to have a lovely day. Bye bye. Good day. You're welcome to the class. So you have seen the um, you have seen the uh, top already. So let's get to it now. Um, this top, okay. The basic pattern behind it is a basic blo uh, bodice block and I've made a video on that already. So in order to fully understand the cutting parts of the video, at least for the bodies, you're going to need to see my video on how to draft the bodies. the first video that I dropped on this channel. But it's a slight change that you would make to the way you cut the neckline and I'm going to show you how you go about doing that before I draft the rest of the bodies. Okay, so now the difference between the way you would draft these bodies and the way you would draft the regular bodies is um, if you know how I draft my bodies already, this is this is what I do. Okay, so first I draw um, half inch line at the top. So the half inch left on top is my sewing allowance, and then I'm going to place my shoulder measurement. Okay, so the, the measurement we're working with is 15. 15 divided by two because the shoulder measurement is divided by two. 15 divided by two, 7.5. I make a mark at 7.5. Now you are not going to mark a neckline width or a neckline depth. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to come down here and you are going to come down by one inch. So you see, I'm keeping the ruler on the half inch line that I rolled. That's why I'm measuring the one inch from. Okay? And after you have done that, you are going to connect the beginning, this point here, okay? The beginning of here, you're going to connect it to this one inch slope that you have. Okay? And then you now place everything normally. You place your armhole measurements. You place all the other measurements that are supposed to fall down here. All right. So you can see over here, I have the front. Okay, I have the front and the back. Okay. So I'm not going to put any darts into the top. Okay. This is supposed to be like um somewhat of a bit of a loose top so I'm not going to put any darts because I don't want the darts to look nasty on my um, fabric so um, but generally I kept 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance okay and I also kept 1.5 inches for the allowance on the side alright so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to cut the piece that we would use for our neck Okay, so to, for the neck, we're going to use this piece of paper here. Now, if, when you want to start drafting your neck, you need to consider some things. First of all, you need to take the circumference around the neck of your client. So, the measurement I'm working with is if um, is 14 inches. The neck is 14. So, when you're about to you know, transfer that to your paper, what you're going to do is you're going to divide 14 by 2. So, 14 divided by 2. In whatever your neck is, you divide it by 2. So, mine is 14. So, 14 divided by 2 minus 1 inch. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Minus 1 inch is 6 inches. So, what you're going to do is you're going to use that your final answer. In, my, um, in this case, it's 6 inches. And you're going to use it to make a semicircle. So you're going to just simply fold six inches as I have done. If you have a flexible ruler, this is going to be um, quite easy. But if you don't, it is still possible, like you can see me doing now. So you make a fold, a semicircle, with it like so, and then you mark around the edges real quick before everything falls apart. So I've marked around the edges of the circle, of the semicircle, and then. Okay, you draw your curve around it like so, and then you simply chop this part off now. So, okay, so this semicircle, this semicircle is what I'm going to use to cut the neckline on my shirt. Okay, so here we have the front and we have the back of the paper. So what you're going to do is I want you to turn the front. So you see this, keep the front upside down, and then you're going to turn the back. So you see. This half inch allowance that I have here, the half inch that I kept at the shoulder of the back too. Okay, you're going to take it and you're going to align the arm pole together. So in front of here, you have your zipper allowance, so you're not going to align this part. You're going to now put this black line here on the actual black line that you have under there. 
okay? And after you have done this, make sure to align the armhole together and not the front side. After you have done this, you are now going to need to you know, pin this down, tape this down. Now, after you have placed the neck down, what you want to do is you see this 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 semicircle that we have here, okay? You are going to come to one of the sides. So it doesn't matter the side, any side of the of the semicircle that you pick. You're going to pick any side, and you're going to keep a ruler in front of it like so. You see this, and you are going to make a mark at where you at where you have half an inch. So you see this. I'm going to come down, make a mark at half an inch. So you see this is the beginning of my ruler. Make a mark at half an inch. Rule a line here. Okay. Now. What you are going to do next is you are going to carry your paper, you see this here, and you are going to align it on the line that you can see here. You see this, that's where this um, where these lines touch. Okay, you are going to place the paper on top of it like so, and you are going to cut around the neckline. Now we have cut the neck. For our dress so we don't have for our top sorry so here there's no neckline that or neckline width or all of that you just cut a semicircle that's the reason why we are going through all of this is so that we can draft um we, uh, our collar will sit smoothly around the neck one two so that it doesn't matter the neck that you are working with you'll be able to cut a neck that will sit perfectly if i say do 2.5 by this or do 2.5 by that if i change depending on the size of the neck that you're working with but if you're able to get this method right you'll be able to apply this to any type of neckline you're working with that has um, a collar like the one that we are working on okay now, all right so now the other um measure uh, no okay i said i'll show you how to draft the bottom part of the sleeve now you've seen the measurements already at the beginning of the video First of all, the sleeve length, I wrote 16 slash 22. Okay, so what that means is this. It means from the shoulder, okay? It means from the shoulder to the cuff, okay? So from the shoulder all the way around the hand to the, to the cuff is 22 inches. Okay, that's the full sleeve length is 22 inches. But the length of the side that is puffy, that is from the shoulder all the way to around 16 is where you have all that puffiness so that's what that 16 means 22 full length 16 is the distance from the shoulder to where that puffy side is all right so now and um, there's another measurement they call el um, elbow and then there's one called wrist so when i said elbow it wasn't actually sitting at the elbow because that fleet that's um, the, the fullness on this on the sleeve. That puffness stops around here. So when I said elbow, this is what I was talking about. So you need to take the circumference around where the puffiness stops and then you take the measurements around the wrist because these are two different measurements. Like for example, you saw that, that we, had six, um, we had here at 10 inches and we had here at 8 inches for this person's size. So you need to take those two measurements because you determine how you cut the cuff so that it sits uh, nicely. You're going to keep your paper flat. It's quite simple. Now you're going to subtract um, 16 from 22. So uh, 16, 22 minus 16 is uh, 6. All right. So with that, we know that 6 is the sleeve length that we are working with. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to keep half inch up here. This is going to save us our sewing allowance. Okay. Then we're going to place that 6 inches. You see this? I'm going to place 6 inches and I'm going to make a mark. You see that? Now, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to come that top part. Remember up here I said when, we, that when I measured it, it was 10. So we're going to divide that by 2. 10 divided by 2, 5. So we're going to come here and we're going to place 5. You see that? Now, after that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bottom over here and I'm going to place 8. So 8 divided by 2 because 8 is the distance around our drafting. So for the sleeve, is divided by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'm going to come here, make a mark at 4. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is on the side here, I'm going to add 1.5 inches of sewing allowance. I'm going to show you how we consume all of this when we are sewing our sleeve. Okay? Alright, so you see that? 
Now the next step is to cut it off. Time to transfer everything to the fabric. Uh, basically done with cutting everything has to do with the body. Now as for the one step color, I have made two videos on this channel treating colors. Okay, so what you do is you check for you go to your search bar and you type in the font Tui how to draft a color. You see two videos how to hand on how to handle colors that I have made before. So if you see that video, you will know how I go about drafting the color. Because I explained that the that video is like a 15 minutes video. I think both of them are like 15 minutes um, long each. So that will totally explain everything that has to do with what I'm going to do concerning the color. So having spent 30 minutes on the channel total talking about colors, I'm not going to film the color here. But I've made videos on that before. Check my channel, you will see it so that um, this video won't be too long. Okay, so now when it's time to cut your sleeve, what you want to do is you want to make sure that no matter how you um, fold it, okay, when you fold like so, you want to, have you seen this? First, you bring the bottom to here first, okay, so everything is laying flat. You bring here up first and then you collapse it like so. So after you have done this, you can now place your paper on top. Now you see this bottom part here, this part here is where that is smaller. So up here is where we place the 10, that's 5, and down here is where we place 8, that's 4. So you're going to take that, make sure you place the 8 facing the bottom part of the sleeve that is sealed. Do you understand? Okay? And after you've been able to figure all of that out, you can now cut around the sleeve. What, uh, the reason why I, why I showed you guys this is because I want you to know that it's going to be very, very important to make sure that the bottom of your sleeve is sealed. So you see this, this is the left of the, of the, the left of the band, right of the band, this is the bottom, okay? So this is the bottom. So that's, this part, the bottom part has to be sealed. I'm going to do the same thing for the second um, band. All right, so now that we're on the sewing machine, the first parts I'm going to join together, uh, the boots are the two sides of the shoulder. Thing I'm going to do is I'm going to after I've done both look at it, I've stitched both sides of the shoulder. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the collar and then I'm going to show you I'm going to um, attach it here. But I've made a video on the collar before, like I said, check out the two videos on how to draft and how to sew the shirt collar. It will explain how you go about making the collar for the, for a neckline like this. Okay, so here I have prepared my collar. So this is just a one step collar, meaning that I used only the um, bottom step. I'm not going to cut that other part that's supposed to be attached on top of here. Okay, so now the next thing is to attach it to the neckline. Alright, so in order to do that, what you are going to do is first of all, you're going to separate this top part that I just finished stitching and the part that you left longer. Okay, that's the part that you will not stitch. I'm going to now attach it around the neck, starting from the back zipper allowance all the way to the other side when it does not interfere with this side. So watch what I'm doing. After you have done this, you are now going to turn all the excess on top of it and you're going to stitch all the way around. So you see this, you're going to push all this rough work, all the excess into the neckline and then you're going to stitch around the neck. Yeah. 
So now I'm going to take it to my ironing table and I'm going to give this a good press. Okay, so after I have ironed my collar down, okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to close your zipper allowance. Now make sure if you want the neatest finish, use your overlocker to finish the zipper allowance before you even attach the collar. As a matter of fact, once you cut your patterns and once you join them at the shoulder, you are going to weave the shoulder the both sides of the shoulder together and now with your zipper allowance before attaching your collar so remember i told you that for my zipper allowance i kept i kept 1.5 inches okay so i'm going to hold 1.5 inches from the neck from the top here all the way down i'm not going to back stitch when i start but i'll back stitch at the end so 1.5 is what i'm consuming After you have gotten to the end of the zipper, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to head over to your ironing table and you are going to need to iron this zipper allowance flat. So you see this, you are going to separate them and you are going to iron it flat like this from the top all the way down. The next okay, so after you have ironed your zipper allowance flat, okay, the next thing Okay. After I've ironed my zipper allowance flat, the next thing is I'm going to install my zip on top of it. Now you can repeat, you can do what I'm doing or you can simply just install your zipper however you are, you are comfortable with. So if, even if you want to install a, an invisible zipper at the back, you can do that at this point. I'm going to go from here all the way down and then I'm going to come back up. After this, the next thing we are going to do is we are now going to loosen the zipper. Remember that we did not back stitch it at the top and at the that we, that we not back stitch it at the at the top. So the next thing you do is you will zip down and then you simply loosen your um, the thread that you have until you get to the zipper. So I'm going to keep on doing this until I get to this point here where I made this turn, okay? All right, so here I have fixed my zipper. The next thing is to work on the sleeve. So I'm going to do one sleeve off camera and then I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now, um, as you can see, I have attached the sleeve on this other um, side on the... Ay, whoa, 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 sorry. As you can see, I have attached the sleeve to the armhole and you can see the gathers at the bottom here. And also, one of the things I'm going to show you is a zipper. So now we can make the cuff as tight as we want it to be and then simply use the zipper and close up the sleeve so that it will be as fitted as you want. You can still just uh, what's called seal it down and then force your arm through if that's something you want to do or you can put this at the bottom so that it's easy to put on and remove. So, okay, so the first part you will start with is the bottom part of the sleeve. That's this part here that we cut. That's this part here. So what you're going to do is you're going to flatten it like this, turn to the wrong side you are going to fold one side of it half inch in, okay? You're going to fold it half inch in, and then you are going to stitch from here all the way down to the end. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a fold. So you see this? We're going to make a fold. It's going to be half inch on top, make a fold. So you see this, I'm not folding it back to keep it at the same level. I'm keeping the part that we folded half inch after this edge over here. Then I'm going to seal both sides. So I'm going to seal here. I'm going to keep here half inch underneath this top part too. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to fold everything inside out like so going to fold here inside out as well and then I'm going to take it to the ending table and I want you to iron here completely flat. Alright so after you have done that what you are going to do is you are going to cut the a, a white piece so remember that we cut the sleeve at 16 slash 22 so 22 is the full length at the end of the day 16 is the length of what you should have here but i'm actually cut this one here at 18 inches with two inches of allowance for the width so instead of that 16 instead of that 16 i cut it at 18 i added two inches um, to give it a little fullness at the end and as for the width 
I cut this uh, width that I'm working with here by 30 inches, but you can make it as wide as you want. The wider it is, the fuller it's going to be. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place the wrong side, okay? You're going to place it and keep the wrong side facing you. So this is the wrong side here that's facing up here. And then, you see this part here? I have ironed this part flat. You're now going to place this part here and you're going to make gathers with the one underneath. So you're going to start, the first half inch I'm going to sew, I'm not going to gather anything, I'm going to just sew it smooth, and then I'm going to start making gathers on the knit. So When you're done with stitching, we're making the gathers, you're going to turn over to the other side and then now you push all the excess into the cuff, okay? So you push all the excess into the cuff and then stitch on top of the cuff. And this so after this, the next thing I'm going to do is you're going to collapse both sides like so and then now I'm going to sew one inch from the bottom okay so one inch from the bottom after I get to the end of the band I'm going to stitch it four inches and when I get to the end of the four inches I'm going to back stitch it here okay now I start at one inch and now I've tapered out to half an inch by the time I get to the four inches so before we can attach this part to the cuff we need to spread that iron this part that we just stitched now we need to spread and iron it flat, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me go and iron it. Alright, so now when you come to where you have your zipper, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your zipper, you see this, you're going to place the front side facing down, alright, and you're going to stitch from here all the way to the end. So turn it inside out, alright, and then we're going to go from here all the way to the end of the zip and then we're going to turn. I'll fix it in a similar way to what I did um, on the on the body, on the back of the top. So the same thing, I'm going to start sewing from here. When I get to the iron, I'm going to make a turn and I'm going to come back down. So watch closely. So you have to be careful when you are doing this. Always make sure that there is no fabric in your way on the other side, do that by stretching out whatever is in your path. That's the fabric underneath. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to simply loosen from here to the end of um, to where we made that turn. And after we do that, we're going to attach this part here to the body. Okay, so after you have handled the sleeve, the next thing is to make gathers around your armhole. So you see this, you're going to place the front side, this is the front side of my body is facing up. You're going to look for the front side of the sleeve, okay, which is here. You're going to make it face down and then you're going to make gathers around the armhole because we cut this um, we cut the top of the sleeve like a rectangle wider than the armhole, so this should just go around perfectly. So make gathers around the top. Okay, so now you see this. With that, I have attached the second sleeve. So you are going to now turn everything inside out and then we're going to continue from here all the way down to the body so you see the sleeve here where we stopped we're going to stitch from here all the way into the body of the top all right so with that i have attached the both of the sleeves the last thing is to hem the um the end of the shirt with whatever um, allowance you kept for your hemming. Now make sure that you use your overlocker or your weaving machine or your serger or however you call it. Use it to finish the side 
okay your side seams and everywhere that needs to be woven before you complete this last step especially this two joining if you want this to have the neatest finish you can have so i'm going to now um hem it but after i hem it that's basically the end of the video thank you for watching this far have a lovely day bye bye